All right, you gotta remove the inner and outer tie rod. So you wanna undo the outer tie rod nut, which is a 21 millimeter. You might have to heat it up with a torch, propane torch or map gas, heat it up, remove the nut. You might have to pry it up into the socket with a pry bar to keep it from turning. But once you get the nut off, smack it with a hammer, break the taper loose, now it's free. Then get yourself some uh, pliers and remove this clamp. Take your pliers, put them on here and twist it back and forth to loosen that boot up. And then on the inside there's another clamp. Get a flat blade screwdriver and a hammer and hit the crimp part of it and knock it off. Okay. And then you go in here and you grab hold of the boot and you twist it, pull it all the way off, boom. And then what you also want to do is turn the wheel all the way to the left. That will extend this shaft out forward, out farther towards you, because we're doing the right side. If you're gonna do the left side, then you want to turn it to the right. Okay? You can use a big pair of channel locks, you can use a pipe wrench, or you can use a special tool that goes on it. I used a pipe wrench. I went over here in between the uh, the stabilizer and the, and the lower control arm. And I turned it and broke it loose. So all you gotta do is just break it loose. Okay, and then you can, then you can take it off by hand, okay? Next, you wanna go over here and get a tape measure. Extend your tape measure out. Put your tie rod on the end of it to center the flat piece, like where there will be a grease circ to the center. Look over here to the side. Look straight down, looks like 14 and 3 eighths. I'm going to down, 14 3 eighths. Okay. Now we'll take the tie rod off and then we'll remove the, the nut. Okay. <clears throat> My nut wouldn't move, so I heated it up. You don't have to do this because I got a new tie rod, an inner tie rod in a boot. So I don't have to do this. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want that nut. Okay, because I like that nut better than the replacement nut. <clears throat> okay. But anyway, I broke it loose, so now I'm just going to turn it out. Alright. As I get this out, I'm going to measure the threads. That way it just gives me a general idea where I'm at. Okay. So now, I'm about an inch and nine sixteenths. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, I got it on there, an inch and nine sixteenths. A little bit more than I want. Let's see. Yep, that's better. Okay, so here's the comparison on the nut. In case you haven't, I didn't tell you, this is a 21 millimeter nut. I use a 21 millimeter wrench to loosen it up. And then I use a 21 millimeter socket to get it undone, okay? So now I got that measurement right. Inch and nine sixteenths. Now I'm going to put on my new tie rod in, put some ANCs on threads again, and snug it up and see what my measurement is. Okay, to the center of the hole, to the end. About an inch and three eighths. Okay, so now I'll just snug that. I'll snug. Wait a minute. Backwards. Okay. Tighten your jam nut. And here we are. We're ready to go together. All right. Next, rub a little bit of Loctite on there. Okay. I just mean a little bit. I don't mean a lot. Just, just go like that. I like that. That's all you need to do. That's it. Now when you start it, you get it threaded on there, and then we'll tighten it up. Okay. All right, I got it. pipe wrench on there, and I turned it and tightened it up. Just tighten it up. You don't need to bear down on the crap load out of it, because you don't want to damage your wreck. So just tighten it up. You got Loctite on it, under your wrench. And just make sure you, when you try turning, try turning it, 
Ah, that should not unthreaden it because I've been places I've done the alignments and I think I'm adjusting the toe and I'm unthreading it out of here because people don't tighten them up. I'll put Loctite on them, okay? So now all I need to do is push your boot over there, get it down there, get up in there, get it over it, get yourself a nice zip tie. Not a monster zip tie, just a nice zip tie. Make the three sixteenths, you know. Okay, we'll get a zip tie on there. And then we'll put this boot back on here and then we'll tighten up our clamp. Okay, make sure you get that zip tie onto that groove on that rack, okay? Make sure it's not on the, over the edge of it. Okay, make sure it's in that groove. And pull the boot out and put it under that little notch and then tighten your clamp up. And then next you can put your tie rod in on your <clears throat> knuckle and tighten it up. All right. Once you got that done tightened, then you can put your tire on and tighten your lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. And, and that's it. And you're done. Do the same thing to the other side and you'll have all your tie rod ends done.